Welcome to the Scrapple Report. On this week's episode, N.A. Poe talks to alien abductee Riley Martin. The Chiodo Brothers visit Awesome Fest to reminisce about killer clowns from outer space. Finally, the musical stylings of Ape School will fly your bullshit to the moon. What's up? Yo, yo, yo. Yo, yo, yo. What's up with this internet class? Scrapple TV. From high atop the Scrapple News Towers in downtown Philadelphia, IA, I'm AP Ticker, and this is a term paper I wrote last minute. Two inch margins and size 16 font. We begin with the largest nude photo leak in history. Kate Upton, Jennifer Lawrence, Ariana Grande, and others have had their phones hacked and sexts made public. The FBI is investigating. They're impressed and looking to hire. It's the biggest invasion of privacy since well, every day the government is reading your emails and watching your internet search history. Edward Snowden said that your naked pics are already passed around the NSA office. That's not a joke. I didn't make that up. It's not a joke. So sue me. But I guess now it's happening to celebrities. So we'll all pay attention. Scrabble TV. Speaking of monolithic forces you can't control, Netflix has asked FCC to stop Comcast Warner merging, citing serious public harm. Comcast has argued that since it's already a monopoly, a little more monopoly won't matter in the grand scheme. In the micro sense, your bills will skyrocket and your bandwidth will choke. I hope you like watching YouTube videos at 240p. We're headed back to the Stone Age, people. And speaking of people, the people of Louisiana aren't even at the top of the food chain anymore. The drinking water in the parish of St. John has tested positive for brain-eating amoeba. With allergy season right around the corner, health officials are warning people not to use their neti pots. When the pot is empty, forcefully exhale through both nostrils. So, oh, I don't know how anyone can voluntarily waterboard themselves like that. I just never... Have you ever had amoeba? Cajun style? Oh, it's, it's delicious. Fried up in butter and dipped in gluten. Mmm, <laughs> soul food. <laughs> Scrapple TV. If you prefer your water tainted with natural gas, then visit Pennsylvania IA, where 243 wells have been contaminated by local fracking operations. New drill sites in Pittsburgh threaten to displace dozens of farmers. Why am I smiling? You would never think of locating uh, these types of facilities right in the middle of a heavily populated area. Uh, nor a heavily, you know, commercial area, you, you wouldn't put them there. It just wouldn't be right. And in this case, you're putting it right next to a food supply for thousands of people. Now, I don't work at Whole Foods, but nobody wants to eat an apple grown with toxic flammable runoff. Speaking of hidden ingredients, a Texas DA has dropped first-degree felony charges against a man accused of selling pot brownies. Prosecutor deemed the investigation a waste of time and dismissed the case after receiving a freshly baked cake from the suspect's mother. <laughs> I the wrong part of the cake. <laughs> now that Labor Day is over and summer has passed, that's no reason to stop drinking outdoors. Make that fall day a little more autumnal with Philadelphia Brewing Company's new bold IPA. This is a beverage that's pH balanced for an astronaut. 
but strong enough to quench even your bloated, flecculent sensibilities. I remain AP Ticker, urging you to let go and move into the light.